Hello everyone and welcome back to Void Space Alpha. My name is Ollie and today we are continuing our playthrough of XCOM Enemy. Uh, this is Enemy Within, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's been a while since I've recorded a few episodes, so sorry about that. And look, a big, big thank you to the almost 43,000 people that have subscribed to the channel so far. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for all your comments and your advice and your help. It's, uh, I know I don't always take it, but it's been very good reading it and getting an idea of how to best challenge this game. Right, so upcoming events. We've got two days between Heavy Plasma, Satellite Uplink in three days, Counter Report in six days, Ammo Conservation in eight days, and 14 days for our request from South America. We actually only have one area left that needs a satellite, which is South Africa, which is pretty good. Panic seems to be broadly okay across the spectrum. Now, if I look at... We did it, we did raid the Exalt base, didn't we, in one of the previous episodes? So that's dealt with. So now it's just a case of, I believe, just scanning for activity. In fact, we've got 214 left. One thing that I do want to look at is the ships that we've got. So we've got... A, have we got a demon in any... No, we're missing a demon in South America... So let's order a new demon. Um, build by items. A firestorm, that's what we need. Submit the order. And do you know what? Rather. I mean, we just get a plasma cannon. Like so. If we go into the hangar, view the ship list. Okay, it's going to be ready in 14 days. So that's something for us to keep a tab on while we scan for activity. Um, aliens terrorizing Durban. Panic very difficult. It's South Africa. Let's send our Sky Ranger. Oh, you need your mech suit back. There we go. Okay. In fact, we can replace that with a railgun, can we not? Have you guys got railguns? You've got a railgun. Yeah, it's okay. We've got three railguns. That's good. Everybody else has laser weapons. I believe they've got the best quality armor on that we've got so far. In fact, that's worth checking, actually. Let's look at loadouts. So they've got the carapace armor. And somebody said something about the chitin plating as well. Let me just go into here and have a look. So carapace armor. Is that still the best armor? Oh, probably because I'm on weapons. Yeah, it, well, it's the only armor we've got researched at the moment. And it seems to be working, so let's do that. I believe that's everybody ready to go. So let's get launch mission. Off we go to South Africa. Prepare for deployment strike. Let's begin the assault. We're heading to South Africa. So yeah, this is one of those evac civilian missions. Report yeah, let's launch it. Come on, guys, let's all jump off. Central, oh, just have a little swig of my drink there. Right, okay, I feel like we've had this map before. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch there. We have civilians Let's take Big Daddy over this way. Okay, he's not close enough to evac that one civilian, but that's okay. Have I got anyone here that can run and gun? I have, I've got you. So I can run and gun you over in this direction. That's one civilian saved. Put you on overwatch, that's something. This is obviously the back corner of the map. So let's take another mech over in this direction. That'll be Chip Anders Jensen. It's one of our two assault mechs. Calvin Shaw, our other assault mech. Can make his way up in this direction. And right, so who have we got left? We've got Romeo and we've got Gilbert Simon. Uh, Simon is a heavy. We should probably keep him alive because we don't have many heavies. What I'm thinking is I can bring you over here, Mr. Sato. Good to go. Save at least two civilians this round, and then I can bring the heavy into a position where you're actually able to provide some sort of fire, which is probably going to be there. Still in cover. Okay, so that's nothing this turn to shoot at, so let's overwatch everything, 
I mean, there's tons of people commenting, and rightly so, that um, I, I run in far too often. And I don't overwatch enough or be strategic enough, and I rush, and that's, you know, a complete character assessment there based on me, which is completely true. So, right, let's, um, now we know there are things in here, I think let's, let's get up to pass through this door, I suppose. This is Big Daddy, which is our, oh, okay, that's a problem. Oh, I could just punch him. Could just punch him for 12 damage. The big one's the one I'm scared of. Okay, that's over half of his health gone. Right, okay, so who else is going to be useful to get over there? Probably Feng Guo. 94% on the shotgun. That's a bit more damage. I mean, it's only three, but it is something. I should have given her the scatter laser. Right, okay. So now, the heavy doesn't have holographic sights. But he could potentially kill. Because he's got a heavy laser. 52% isn't the best percent. Whereas an alien grenade that does five damage, that will kill him. Uh, and it could potentially take out some of that cover as well. So let's try that. Okay, lovely. Yes, and it did take out a bit of that cover. It also took out Feng Guo's cover as well, which is problematic. Um, right, Sato I'm going to hold off on because you might need to smoke grenade. Um, let's bring Mr. Shaw. Sorry, not Mr. Shaw. This is Anders Jensen over this direction. So we've got two mutons, two heavies. Um... Two mutons could go down with two grenade strikes. Yeah, there we go. Which means I just need to be able to get a grenade strike off with you. Right, okay. So that could potentially kill those. Okay, that's brilliant. We're just down to the two heavy floaters then that we saw last time. And I think... I think the best option is going to be to smoke out in this particular engagement. I can, yeah, just chuck the smoke there. There you go, lads. And lady. Sort yourselves out. Two heavy floaters. One is going to go away and overwatch. The other one. Gonna shoot a civilian, is he? Yes, he is. Hey, that's not gone as well as I thought it might. But didn't get any shots on me, which is nice. But do I have control yet? Okay, a noise happened. Right, and now I can't actually see anything. Um, right, Big Daddy, you can get over here. You've taken no damage, and there's no reason for you to shoot when you could punch. In close combat. There we are, that's one down. Right, okay. Um, Mr. Sato, I don't really want to trigger Overwatch. Although, saying that, I'm on it, I can bring you up here, Anders Jensen. Okay, that one for some reason will trigger Overwatch, and take eight damage even though the other soldier didn't. I've got a 64% chance to shoot you through the wall. And I got you. That's 12 on a crit and we created our own doorway at the same time. Which is brilliant. Um, right, okay, now it's just a case of figuring out where the next sort of pod is going to be and moving our soldiers up. Moving. Let's get shotgun over there. Uh, Mr. Sato, get yourself over here. you got four uses of this heal wound. Okay, yeah, he can't actually do it when he sprints, though. So that, that would be dumb. Let's get the heavy over in this direction. And I think the mech... The That's mech can come down here. We're going to be moving into this alleyway anyway. So we'll overwatch you, just to have somebody overwatch. 
Okay, that mech is going to repair two health. That's great. Alien activity. Okay, so there's definitely aliens in that back corner. I think the best thing to do is to move uh, Calvin Shaw over to here. Head for our ship. Okay, he hasn't activated anything. Um, you can run and gun. But you can't get round. That's the problem. So I think maybe one of the mechs moving That's up to this civilian is going to be the best. New okay, we spotted a big thingy and two drones. They okay, got a 50% shot on the big thingy. Why haven't you evacuated that civilian? Okay, it's a miss on the first shot. Realigning optics. You have a grenade. It's not going to reach, unfortunately. Um, I can move you up to the doorway. To be completely honest, the rocket would be great over there. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll tell you what I can do. There's no cover up here, though. That's the problem. I not see the floor plan. I can see some of the floor plans sometimes. Um, right, okay. Is there anything way I can shoot him from down here? I guess not. So, you... Right, let's get the heavy in position for next turn. Right, you're good. Shotgun soldier... I think just get into position for next turn. Oh, there's something on Overwatch. Oh, that's not gone well. That's going to eat the cover. Yeah. Oh, no. It was a miss, thankfully. But now she is well and truly out in the open. Which means just on saving people's lives, let's get her into cover. We've got another mech here. I'd rather the mech get shot than the heavy, to be completely honest. Heading there now. He will get a railgun shot. It's whether or not he's likely to hit, and it's 45%. Just going to leave that until I can bring somebody else up. I don't think I'm going to bring anyone else up. Um... Yeah, I think getting Ryo Sato around here is the best I can do. This is quite stressful. We might lose a soldier. Uh, right, Ryo, you go into Overwatch. We can grenade this guy plus his cover. Does only does two damage, and we can move this up. I think that's everything, isn't it for me? It is. Repair two health on the mech, which is probably good. I think I might need it. Okay, Sato gets a shot off. It misses. But somehow he saw something there. Oh no, my shotgun soldier. Or my mech. Or my heavy. Yeah, it's the heavy. <laughs> 10 damage. Yeah, he's panicked into cover. That's probably not the worst panic. Two drones. Did he just repair the car? Oh no, he repaired the mech. And it killed a civilian. Okay. That turn could have gone worse, if I'm really honest. Right, my heavy's still panicked. That car explodes doesn't take anything with it. Right, okay. So, I think the best option here is just going to be punching this thing to death. Oh, it does get overwatch shots if anything moves. Nine damage on Anders Jensen. Okay, let's uh, let's dish you out a punch. Engaging close quarters Punch. Okay, it's only six damage per punch. 
So I'm only going to do 18 if I can get all three punches off, which I can't because I can't get all three people Order that control. close. <coughs> Is it going to overwatch against this one? No, it's not. It must just have one overwatch a turn. Oh, was that a sprint? It was. Oh, no. Okay, you're still panicking. Uh, I can move Ryo over to here. You got a shot at 60%. I mean, it's better than nothing. Two damage. It's something. You've got an 80% chance to hit. Another two damage. And I can move this mech up to here. Hopefully get a hit with my rail gun. 81%. That should connect. Still only four damage. But that is everything. I've pumped everything into it. Oh, there's two heavy floaters. The whole situation's getting worse. Yeah, that's not going to be great. Six damage on the mech. Well, on the pink mech, which is one of our assault mechs. Big Daddy's going to take a hit as well, is he? Seven damage on Big Daddy. Reactive sensor gets to fire back. Four damage. In retaliation for that. The drones. Probably going to dish out a repair, I imagine. Are they going to do anything? Yeah, there's the repair. Repaired three. Right, okay, now it's my turn. Now, rocket. I could take out both drones. I think that's probably a good use. Yeah, that's two actions dead. I'm trying to think about every fight now as... I can't remember who said this to me. But basically as a combination of action points like so if you can spend more action points than your opponent you're probably gonna win let's punch this guy let's get you but I don't want to move him in case he dies to punch that's another six damage uh, Ryo, you've only got a 60% chance to hit. Whereas you, I can bring you around here. Um, yeah, I think that's the right place. Going to trigger the overwatch. But it is my full health mech, Calvin Shaw. So, I mean, it's a miss as well, which is even better. I was about to say so he shouldn't die. Uh, no, I do not want to reload my rail gun. I want to punch. Roger that. Going in. Come on, punch him up. Punch him up. Nice. Oh, that's less nice. Everybody took damage. Have a vehicle on fire nearby. Oh, and the vehicle's on fire. Marvellous. Right, who's really wounded here that can't move? It's you. And Mr. Sato is going to have to dash to get there, which means he ain't healing you this turn. Right, okay, we can get the shotgun soldier away. Um, I can do a run and gun. Actually, can I not just... I mean, this red vehicle is on fire, so... I'll just move you there, get that civilian saved. And who is left? I mean, it well, is you, isn't it? But I'm still not sure about that vehicle combination, so let's move you a little bit closer to this civilian behind the police car. I think that's me, is it not? It is. Two heavy floaters again. Oh, that's not gone well. Right, okay, i tell you what. Let's move every single wounded mech That's over to here. here. Right, that's one. 
That's two. And that selects you. And then that is three. Let's dish out the healing from you. Which should hopefully even keep the very damaged one alive. Mr. Sato, you might be shooting somebody in a moment. Let's use our railgun to hit this chap here, hopefully. Nope, that is going to be a miss. And now he needs to reload his railgun. Let's try this guy. He's got a 75% chance of hitting. 10 on the crit. I'll take it. It's not a kill, but I will take it. And you've got a shot at that guy up there. 60%. Five damage. Right, we've got a shotgun soldier who can move to there, save another civilian. That's six saved. Um, however, I do want to get her into a bit of better cover. So let's do that. And then I've got my heavy left, who should... I don't think he'll be able to shoot from there. I can give it a go from the top of these stairs. No. Okay, so let's put him on Overwatch. If anything moves, he'll hopefully be able to shoot it. Can't actually see a thing. Oh, we might lose a mech. It's down to one health. Oof. Right, okay. That's two civilians have just jumped down there. That's quite intelligent. I didn't realise they moved around. Sector pods destroyed, yeah. Okay, right. This mech is down to one health, which and it still needs to reload. So where are these enemies? One's down there, one's up on the roof. Okay. Have you got any grenades left? You do not, you do not. Uh, you do. So can I hit you? Can, allegedly, it's just a very fiddly thing to do. Or maybe I can't because it's flying, I don't know. Let, I can definitely hit you. So let's go for that. Hopefully that's the second to last one down. Um, right, you've got the medical ability, so let's do that. So that's healed you a little bit. Ryo, I don't want to use you until I know I've got no choice left. So, shotgun soldier. Let's dash to there. And then our heavy. I mean, the heavy can. Where are you? There we are. I think we'll just move you up to here. Right, okay, yeah, we definitely don't have... We've got a 60% chance to bring it down to one health. Although I think the better solution would be to bring this guy back. Affirmative, Commander. Reload. And, look. and then dish out the healing. Uh, 8 HP. Come on, you'll be back in the fight ASAP. Okay, I think that's me. <laughs> Okay, thankfully that's a miss. We have got a railgun shot, 50% chance to hit. It's a miss. So I think I'm just going to try and hit I'm him with everything. Um, oh, good. I've still got an ability with you. Ready I can reload. Fire. Cool. Um, you've got a shot, which is Sato. Yes, Romeo. Got no ammo. Got a railgun shot here, 45%. That's not likely to hit. Uh, who else have we got here? I don't think the shotgun soldier is likely to get a hit there. I don't think I can actually get to this roof from the inside, so... Just wondering if I can move to here. 
I can and I can overwatch. Right, you need to reload. What I think I'm going to do is move you over into this direction. Oh, I have rocket boots. I forgot about the rocket boots. Uh, oh, you've got a grenade. Oh, but I can't hit him with a grenade, can I? No, okay, so I guess you're overwatching. Yeah, this last one's proven quite tricky because he's in a bit of a comfortable spot. Right, I think we just try and hit him with everything again. Do we? Do we? Or do we just grab you? Calvin Shaw? Yes, it is Calvin Shaw. Activate your rocket boots. And I think... Jump up to here. Okay, that's very close. So if you can't hit that at 89%... There we go. Lovely. All mission objectives complete. Okay, we didn't lose anyone. We saved 11 out of 18 civilians who served a heart. But it was a close one. It was a very, very close one. But there we are. Right, we've got a couple of promotions as well. Feng Guo is now a corporal, and I would like... Um, yeah, critical chance for every enemy in sight. That's good. Gilbert Simon, you're going to get the holographic targeting. Uh, that's, that's bullet swarm. Hang on. Hollow targeting. Perfect. And we got two guys wounded. Yeah, they're going to take a few days to recover. We've got some good corpses, some good meld and what have you. Panic in South Africa has decreased by three. Panic has decreased across we Africa. Let's have a look at the sat situation room. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. So now it's only Brazil that has any semblance of panic, which is interesting. Well, look, that is where I'm going to leave it for today's uh, episode. So thank you so much for watching. Popping up on your screen now will be some other videos I hope you're interested in. Please do check them out, and I'll see you in the next episode.